corrotating interaction region, CIR, is expected to hit Earth. Let's see what will happen when it hit Earth. This event will compress Earth's magnetic field as fast and slow solar wind streams interact. Expect a noticeable increase in solar wind speed, density, and magnetic field strength, potentially leading to minor G1-class geomagnetic storms and auroras at high latitudes if the magnetic field's BZ component turns southward. Corrotating interaction regions are long-lasting large-scale plasma structures generated in low- and middle-latitude regions of the heliosphere by the interaction of a stable fast solar wind stream with the surrounding slow solar wind. CIRs develop when high-speed solar wind, typically originating from coronal holes, catches up to slower wind streams. The resulting compression creates distinct boundaries, a forward pressure wave at the leading edge and a reverse pressure wave at the trailing edge. At greater distances from the sun, these pressure waves can develop into shock waves. The impact is expected to begin late on August 18th as Earth enters the fast solar wind from a recurrent coronal hole, it will likely cause a noticeable increase in solar wind activity. The disturbed magnetic field can lead to enhanced aurora displays at high latitudes. The three-dimensional extent and their role in structuring the quiet heliosphere became clear after Ulysses' high-latitude observations had become available. CIRs play several important roles in space weather and heliophysic. They can trigger geomagnetic storms when they reach Earth, influence the distribution of energetic particles in the heliosphere, contribute to the modulation of cosmic rays, particularly during periods of low solar activity, and cause compression of the interplanetary magnetic field. Stay tuned for our upcoming videos and feel free to reach out at any time. Your support is our greatest motivation.